Hey, it's Jeannie Brulaha with Take a Walk with Your Angels and JoyfulLeans.com. Wanted to touch on how we can quantum leap with a loved one to a desired reality from a current reality state. And this can be a child, it could be a pet, it could be, um, maybe you haven't even met your loved one yet. But this is especially effective, um, I've seen, for couples. So say in your current reality, you're watching your mate um, struggling with some aspect of whether it, maybe it could be an addiction, maybe it could be um, a financial concern or tightness, uh, it could be something to do with the family, like his or her family, um, maybe it's just self-language and a lot of um, doubting self-talk, a lot of lack and limitation belief systems that, you've, that you're seeing in the thought streams and the words that are coming out of this person's mouth, right? So you can quantum leap into this desired reality with your loved one. And um, when it comes to all of your loved ones, I always ask, can I, may I quantum leap with you? And then hear the answer. Um, and I've said in other videos, if you can't get a hold of them, maybe they're in a coma or they are um, otherwise located <laughs> with whatever state that they might be in, it's still really good to ask the soul of the person and say, may I quantum leap with you? And you'll hear, <laughs> you may hear, no, that's my husky. <laughs> you may hear, no, no, no. You may hear, yes, 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 please. Okay. So if you hear the yes, or your person tells you, your mate tells you, yes, absolutely. So you, what you're doing is you're going to take them by the hand. And you're going to quantum leap them into this desired reality of this space of whatever that they are most wanting to achieve clear, overcome, um, maybe amp up. Maybe there's something that they really love here in the current reality and they just want more of it. They really like more of it. So, um, again, it's, it could be, it, just consider everybody has their own idea of success. So whatever that, you may, you know what your loved one wants to succeed, how they want to succeed, what, what is success to that person. Um, whether it's to do with their, maybe it's losing weight, maybe it's gaining weight, maybe it's um, a career jump. Maybe it's just more money. Maybe it's, um, like I said, releasing some kind of addiction. Um, so you're gonna take them by the hand here. Quantum leap over here to this desired reality. Look around, see what's there. See them in their optimum ideal reality. Uh, this quantum field energy is all about all the quantum field. It's just no lack, no limitation, infinite possibilities, right? So uh, leap with them there. Take them, go with them and, um, and hang out there. Absorb that energy, integrate it, pull it in all the way, um, and ask that he, that person, your mate, also is able to absorb that and integrate it as well. Jump back to this current reality. Keep doing this as often as you wish. You may notice a change in a day. It can happen very quickly where a person is, all of a sudden, your loved one is saying, wow, I didn't realize that I was capable of this. Or I didn't realize that I needed to cut that out. Or that I suddenly had to establish a different kind of boundary. Or, um, wow, I was really closing myself off. I was really resisting myself in some ways. So that's what this, getting into that current reality state with the person, jumping to this desired reality. The other thing I would act, really highly encourage is if you have a loved one who is experiencing suicidal thoughts or running into um, a feeling like they just don't really matter, that they don't have a purpose, that they better be better off somewhere else, um, ask them if you can quantum leap with them. And if you can quantum leap with them together, speaking to them about it, that's even better, more amped up. If they're not open to it and they're saying, eh, I don't really know what you're doing, I don't really get that, it's kind of weird. Um, it's all good. You can still quantum leap with them. Take their hand, take them by the hand, quantum leap to this desired reality of anything that they've mentioned that they wish would be different. Something, whatever that is, that they um, wanted to feel like they aren't going to make a difference, that they aren't um, stuck here forever. Um, whatever this is, and see them in that joy. See them in their, in whatever, however you've known them to feel like they matter. To feel like they have a sense of purpose that they people that they are meant to be here and see that and ask if they are able to absorb and integrate that energy as well and then jump back here again into the current reality you can do this as many times as as possible and again if you can do it kids are super open to this 
I mean, they are, they love it. They do it all the time, naturally. They go out, they look at the skies, they say, oh, look, look what just popped in today. They look over, they see an animal, they see a bird. Oh, I wonder why that bird's visiting today. I wonder why that animal came by. So that it's a very organic, natural thing for children. So if you can do it with them in person, all the better. And it really can help them move from the being feeling like this stuck, mucky, spiraling stuff here where there's no hope to this infinite possibility and very hopeful space um, with all kinds of ideas that maybe he or she didn't think of. And so with you quantum leaping, taking them by the hand and showing them all of their possibility, their um, incredible potential that's ever changing, ever amping up and ever growing, um, and then bringing them back to here, watch what happens. Um, kids, like I said, super open to it. And it can help um, a child shift while you're shifting too. So if your child's experiencing anything like this, it's a, um, it's a very good thing, a very positive thing, a very beneficial thing to help them see it through a different set of eyes. So let them see all their co-creative potential. That um, this area, when it gets so stuck, it's, there's just a lot of resistance there. So if we can jump, we end up in that co-creative space and all of a sudden ideas can pour in. All right? Could be an, um, a new instrument they get to play. Uh, they get to start singing lessons. They take up a sport. They um, join some kind of a group of some kind, um, a chess club. I mean, it could be all different kinds of things that come in that desired reality. And if you can do it with the person, even better. Because then you can see what, through their eyes, too, not just with your own intuitive eyes. All right? Bring it back here and then help clear all of the stuff and, and catch each other. When you hear yourself speaking to those lack and limitation beliefs, um, there's not enough money, there's not enough time, there's not enough energy, I would never be good at that, I could never do that, la 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 la, and say, you gotta jump that out of there. And you can jump, you can actually jump the lack and limitations away because this space will absorb it and transmit it back into light. Or you can jump together, land here, and clear it out here. Either way it works, it serves. All right? Love you. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, if you'd love to come for an angel walk, I highly welcome that. And I'm in Colorado for those who want to do it in person. Otherwise, I do a lot of angel talks on the phone as well. And feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. Free information. Take care and talk to you soon.